What's up guys, it's time for another FM Virtual Stadium Tour video and today we are going to be doing something a little bit different from normal. We're actually going to be building a custom stadium in this game, FIFA Manager 13, that I use. I know it's last year's one now, but please ignore that. <laughs> Um, anyway, this is a stadium I call the Large and Cheap. Um, I'm sure you can understand why it's called that, because it's extremely large and extremely cheap. Um, so I'm just going to show you how to build it right now, maybe explain a few elements of it, and, uh, and just explain a few things about it as well. So if we start off with this corner here, now you'll see why I'm doing this at the end, because the whole stadium itself is extremely repetitive and um, and you just need something to break it up really um, if I what I'm doing right now is just changing the advertising boards around the edge of the stadium I'm uh, also putting in all of the extra little bits you can put in if you want to um, like barriers like confetti uh, if you go down you can see that there's press you can put in if you go down even further, there's like guards and stuff you can put in. Uh, have I missed that? I have missed that. There they are, guards, next to lots of press. So, uh, yeah, I missed that, obviously. You can put in like nets for behind the goals, if I just show you that quickly. Um, if you're looking at that goal down there, if I... I'm an idiot. If I then click on... Uh, where are we? If I then click on net, boom, there you go. There's a huge net behind the goal, but I'm not a fan, so I'm going to take them away. Anyway, that's all of that sort of little rubbish done. This corner, I've got the VIP corners, which I have used in previous videos, and an absolutely massive floodlight above it. Um, that's probably that's because um, in the rest of the stadium, there's not really any other floodlights or any areas where you can put floodlights. Um, you will see what I'm talking about when I'm done. But anyway, if I then if I now start one of the proper stands, and the majority of them are going to be like this, by the way. Um, so I'm going to probably save myself a lot of time on this video. But anyway, uh, to 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 me, let's do medium entrances all the way up. And now you're just starting to see why this stadium is so cheap. There's no, there's no overhangs. There's no uh, real clever stuff about it. It's just an extremely big stadium that uh, that is just like that the ma majority of the time. Um, I'm just going to show you now how to save a hell of a lot of time while doing this. You just drag. You put on the bottom there. You can see my mouse cursor hovering over it now. It says capacity 64,000 completed. Ignore that. Um, but you just click on it and drag it where you want it. And you can do that for the whole stadium. And effectively, it just pulls it all up. One thing though, you can't drag a flat side into a corner. That doesn't work. You have to do them separately. But it's the same. Once you've built a corner, you can just drag it. And I'll show you now the VIP one if I just drag it there and now we've got both corners as VIP ones but I don't want that so I'm gonna get rid of it anyway um, we'll come back to these in a bit I might have to copy them all over again um, but I'm not gonna do that right now uh, anyway main grandstand middle bit so this is gonna be slightly more complicated than everything else because uh, I'm gonna have to do a few little extravagant touches on it just to make it look slightly better so if I... what am I looking for? Let's start with benches, that's what we should start with. Player benches. Um, the dugout, effectively. What you see um, Sir Alex Ferguson or Arsene Wenger or anyone like that sitting in. Uh, now, obviously, for a stadium of this size, you're going to go with the biggest one you can. So, I've actually just destroyed the concrete floor there, which isn't good. Oh, that's not right. What am I looking for? There it is. Concrete floor. Right. <laughs> Alrighty. So, uh, I can actually move the benches back or forward. I prefer to have them on the pitch because that looks better. Um, now, what else do we need? Well, at most stadiums, apart from Old Trafford is the obvious exception, where's the tunnel? It's in the middle of the pitch. So, we need a tunnel. 
Now there are two elements to the tunnel. Obviously if you go into uh, MISC here, or miscellaneous, however you say it, there's lots of different tunnels. I quite like the long natural, tunnel B. But that's not it. You also need a section for the players to wander onto the pitch with. So you need player entrance. There's several there. There are standard ones. You can also get special ones. And I'll show you the difference between them. Standard one, it's just like that. Looks rubbish. Well, it looks fine for a smaller club. But as this is an absolutely massive stadium, we want a bigger one. So I'm just going to delete that and put a bigger one in. There we go. That's a special one. And for those of you who are wondering how I got rid of that, by the way, if you look down on the bottom here where they're all listed, all the elements you have listed, there's a little red X next to them. Now, if you click the status at the top, everything in that block is deleted. But if you click on one little red X, just one bit of it is deleted. So that's an easy way just to get rid of one or two bits if, uh, if you're like me and uh, you're not very clever. <laughs> um, anyway, the rest of this stand is just going to be extremely similar to the what's already happened only we're going to put railings up there where are we uh, uh, uh. steel railings normally plastic ones tend to break in my mind I don't know why I just always uh, just always put steel because in my mind if you put plastic up there it's like oh well that's going to break because it's plastic obviously that's not the case though because I'm an idiot uh, just something to cover up the railings as well advertising boards there you go that looks better doesn't it it's like these ad boards around the bottom of the pitch around the whole stadium and then it's like nope we've, uh, we've we're just gonna raise them up above the player exit here or entrances uh, where are we now I need to put exactly the same pretty much they closed entrances they were weren't they yes I got that right um, yeah it's almost exactly the same as everything else only because you have to put the player entrance in that doesn't count as a stand so you can put one extra stand in here mm, I don't normally do that I normally uh, leave it all the same height because it looks better but uh, if you can find a way to fit the extra one in without it looking absolutely stupid uh, please let me know in the comments because uh, I would very much like to know because it's just that extra bit of capacity in the stadium isn't it um, if I just finish this off now with the wall continuous B now the reason I've come back to the roof and I haven't done that yet is because actually let's go on and do the corner first again it's extremely simple the corner it's uh, it's just a bunch of there we go it's just quite simply if I what am I doing I'm being an idiot please ignore this bit um, there we go, right, now I can de delete those, so you learn the tricks of the trade after a while. Um, yeah. Anyway, <coughs> as I said before, you can't copy corners across, so... Um, medium entrance closed. Or did I, I wanted a deluxe one, didn't I? Um, yeah, you can't copy them across, so you have to do them all separately. But you can copy other corners um, across. So it's not all bad. Um, where's the wall at the back? I always lose elements. That's the thing. I know what I'm doing, but uh, I lose the elements I'm looking for. Right, okay. Um, if I copy this now. So basically now we've hit the capacity for the entire stadium, 83,270 you can see there, bottom right hand corner. If you were building this stadium without a roof, it would only cost you 38.7 million from, well I started from nothing. If you have to delete a stadium that's already there, <coughs> excuse me, or demolish it, obviously it's going to cost you a little bit more because you have to demolish the old stadium as well. But as you can see, it's just a very simple stadium, extremely big no overhangs or anything which means uh, no extra money going down the drain it looks extremely simple because it is um, and there's just a few I'm just going to do a few finishing touches now um, stuff like the roof stuff like um, VIP areas even though I've already done it or press boxes and stuff like that okay so if we start off with the roof there are two different ways you can do the roof I've found you can either eh, 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 roof you can either have a special 
glass arch roof above all of the main sections let's have a large one there we go like that look how quick this is compared to uh, having to do it each section on its own so it looks like that but the problem is not like that because I haven't done but the problem is <coughs> excuse me again you can't do the corners like this so uh, so um, the corners have to be separate normally like a flat roof and if we start here this is the other way you could do it if I go back to roofs because that's where you need to be oh I already had it open <laughs> um, and I go to flat roof went straight past it there can't find anything today and you just click it five or six times until the top starts going dark um, because that's when people are going to start sitting in the dark and that's no good um, saying that coincidentally I was watching a uh, Plymouth Argyle match the other day um, on I think it was highlights or something and the floodlights went out and all the fans in the stand just held up their mobile phones with the flashes on it's <laughs> just like hey where the floodlight now you can keep playing um, I find it highly amusing but uh, but anyway back to this stadium and uh, normally with these flat roofs you just need to finish it off with a connection just because it looks better I normally go for the flat one and you see it just rounds off the roof and uh, if you want to make your roof join up all you have to do is do exactly the same for the flat ones now I'm actually torn between which one's better to use um, I normally use the arches and just the flat on the corners only if you're using the flat on just the corners with the arches in the, on the uh, on the grandstands you know I normally make them a bit shorter because it looks better in my mind but anyway how many did I put on it four five there we go and connection B flat oh look at that skills to pay the bills there we are right and if I just keep going <coughs> around here and if I finally do this one flat A one two three four five is that right that's right and just put the connection on it as always I've gone straight past it there we go right now you can just see the roof if I get rid of this shortly the roof all matches up it all links together I think it looks better one thing you can also do by the way uh, with the roofs if I go here and floodlights you can actually put floodlights on the roof now it's something I do occasionally but it's extremely expensive and you will have to move them back by the way if I put it at the halfway mark there we are you see that doesn't look too bad and it's also it, you know in my mind I'm always like well is that gonna work is it gonna get in the fans way if you do that it's obviously not gonna get in their way but you know, again in my mind this stadium's so big they're so far away those floodlights they won't make a damn difference so uh, there's no need for them that's why by the way I have no floodlights in the whole of the rest of this stadium that's why I have that gigantic one in the corner there A because it looks bloody awesome look at it and uh, and B because uh, there aren't any in the rest of the stadium but anyway we're nearly done uh, I'm just gonna do one last thing now what is it all stadiums have it's a VIP um, VIP area yep got one of them what, what else is it all stadiums need a press box right somewhere for the news reporters to sit so what I'm going to do is just to try and blend it in obviously I'm going to pick a big one so uh, if I go large media area you can have two, two you can have an open one or a covered one covered one basically looks like a uh, basically looks like um, a VIP continuous section you may have seen them in some of my other videos and an open one just looks like that <laughs> yeah that's it that's all it looks like if and I just normally place it just above the VIP area just because it looks good to be honest it breaks up that stand I also think that uh, it's it's also a good divider for uh, the away fans because the section between the away fans and the home fans normally has a nothing in it there's like sheets covering it and uh, 
and guards all around it protecting the area um, so that there aren't fights and stuff but also it's where the best atmosphere is because you've got the fans chanting at each other clearly all the time during the whole game and so that's where the press should be because it's like yeah this stadium has a great atmosphere uh, no the atmosphere is average you're just in you know the best part of it but anyway that's where I've put that's where I normally put it um, now for the stats with the roof and the VIP area and the press box <coughs> excuse me again uh, the stadium holds 82,590 people so it's a big stadium and it only costs 46.5 million to uh, to build I say only that's obviously a hell of a lot of money but considering if in this game at least when it's sold out it will get you 2.4 million per match that's quite a lot so uh, so if you have 46.5 million it's a decent thing to build one last thing I said I was going to explain why have I got the VIP area here two reasons number one obviously as I've said already you need the VIP area number two it breaks up the stadium if it was just like this the whole way round it doesn't look very good does it but uh, if you have the VIP area in one corner I think it just breaks it up slightly makes the stadium a little bit more interesting to look at um, and and you know I think the VIPs do better to be in a complete section all on their own not to have fans around them because you know they want to get the VIP experience they don't want to be harassed by people the whole time that's me sound like a massive snob isn't it anyway thanks for watching guys um, <coughs> excuse me once again I'm sorry about that um, Please don't hesitate to give us a like on uh, on this video and on Facebook. Please don't hesitate also to go on Twitter and follow us. You can find us at uh, FM Stadium Tours, I believe, for both of them. Um, also, please subscribe. Um, I'm going to aim to get more of these type of videos out, as well as the uh, regular facts and, and, and virtual stadium tours of uh, real life stadiums. So uh, hopefully the channel is just going to boot up again. A few more videos are going to come out in the next few weeks. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See you later.